Okay, hello everybody. We are here for uh, another video series with Black White Tokens. We are um, willing to post Modern Horizons 1 and uh, wanted to show what I think is probably my current optimal build. Um, it's hard to say. There's so many variables going on right now. Modern is changing uh, a ton in the past month um, with new cards and bannings and like three different sets that are actually adding things to modern going on so um this is what what i have now um a lot of people have asked and i've kind of i think i've shown it on the videos but i'm actually going to play a series so um quick rundown i think i'm sticking with the two silent clearings the rest of the mana base um just one swamp heavy on planes just for um you know things like spectral and uh, Oriok and things like that. Um, three Field of Ruins. I think it's uh, it's a card I like to have. Field of Ruin or Ghost Quarter. There's just a lot of lands that can be relevant. Uh, I've just liked the Field of Ruin just because we can be a kind of mana hungry deck. So having the extra like keeping the land is helpful. Just so it like so it doesn't set you back a whole land drop, um, which can slow you down more than we want to be slowed down. Uh, I've stuck with this configuration for a long time, open to suggestions, people want to change things, but I haven't had a, felt a need to. Um, there's obviously like days or weekends where you wish you were like heavier on discard or heavier on removal and revise, you know, any combination, but um, you, you don't want to have too many slots dedicated to all this interaction just because you, we need to present a clock. Um, still running two brutalities. I do like that. Back down to three bitter blossoms, four virtues. Um, and then I've been really happy with Winds of Abandon. Uh, it's just a card that I like want to draw a lot. Um, it's obviously just like a slower path to exile in terms of sorcery and two mana. Um, but it's still a very good card. Like just get rid of any creature for two mana. Um, it's still a fantastic card, even if they're getting a land out of it. Um, but also like six mana for a plague wind is to me just seems crazy um i mean plague wind is a nine mana card and here we are that we've got a six mana plague wind with further upside um in terms of the fact that you can just cast it for two if you need to cast it for two and there's many decks where you don't need the plague wind you just want to cast it for two um and then there's decks where you you know the board stalling out if you can survive to turn six against like humans and spirits um, which is very likely with all the chump blockers we have. Like you just, just one-sided wrath them. It's unbelievable. So um, I haven't actually been able to use that ability, but there's been, you know, when I've been playing the little I've been playing, um, when I have been playing the past couple weeks, um, there's just many cases where I was just thinking, you know, okay, well, what if I had drawn this card, or what if my path to exile was a winds of abandon instead? Um, like how much better would it be? And it's been a lot better, um, theoretically. So, um, two Kai's Guile, um, I want this card to be good. I th think it is good. It's just, I don't know if Modern's like, it, sadly is like maybe just too slow for Modern, but it does a little bit of everything. Um, I value versatility that way. That's why I like the discard and that's why I like brutalities. That's why I like Kai's Guile. And that's why I like generous gift. Um, having two ways to deal with anything, especially lands sometimes can be very useful. Um, so I'm doing this, um, testing out a Sarah. I haven't tested out Sarah at all yet, so I figured I'd throw her in, um, and kind of compliment to Soren. A couple Spectrals, testing out a Battle Screech just to, just to test it further. Just one to go with the Kai's Guile Souls, Spectrals, and whatnot. Sideboard, um, four Oriok Champion, just a lot of decks where it's relevant right now. Up to four Stony Silence, Tron, and, uh... Hardened Scales have been having big weekends and competitive tournaments, so I'm doing that. Keeping a Disenchant, um, down to two Surgicals from three, um, having added two Nihil Spell Bombs, um, along with the two Kai's Giles as Graveyard Hate. No Rest in Pieces, um, I think I'm just doing all this stuff instead, trying to keep my Lingering Souls alive. Um, Basilisk Collar is just pet card of mine for many reasons um i think it's still good a lot of, against a lot of things eldrazi tron has been making a little resurgence so it's been a good thing uh and then the final slot i um dude rune halo uh people have been talking in our 
chat about how good it is and it does seem to be kind of better now against a lot of the decks that are popular so figured i'd slide one in and and be able to test it out a bit um absent for here from here are um damping spears i've been running one or two um i didn't like the card at the beginning but it kind of grew on me as people were testing it out and i was seeing it do some good work um but there's like not really storm around now the phoenix decks i've had damping sphere out against them it just like barely slows them down it's not really that big of a deal for him um sadly um so it's really kind of just a tron card and i don't really want to have something that's just tron like yes it's a really tough matchup but it's a tough matchup even with it and i think stony silence like does an equally good job sometimes better job against tron um, shutting them down so i cut the damping spheres um, to go up to four stony silence for that reason and then um, added a rune halo so here's the list um i um do have to specify the um I, I a lot of times record these if you guys have noticed these deck techs uh after um this time it, it is the case as well try not to spoil anything during the deck techs anyway but um the first match round one um I couldn't get my microphone to work, so the audio is pretty bad, so I apologize for that. Um, but the match was fantastic, so I, I recommend you guys watching that and suffering through the bad audio, um, just because I think it's worth a watch. So thank you again, everyone, for all the continued support. Um, again, if you guys got recommendations or requests or anything, um, trying to make this keep this going as a monthly thing. That's really all the, t all the time I have to do this now, but I figure once a month is is more than any other tokens uh, content going out right now in Magic. So, um, yeah, thank you all for the continued support. Hope you guys enjoy the videos. And, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments.